All right, hello everyone, my name is Jake, and today is gonna to be part two of the microwave transformer spot welder for batteries project. I'm not sure what to call this thing quite yet, but uh, in the last video, I made this contraption, and this is a uh, spot welder for lithium ion batteries made out of a microwave oven transformer. If you wanna see how I did this, check out yesterday's video. But essentially what it's going to do is weld on uh, strips of nickel to connect lithium ion, uh, specifically 18650 battery cells. So today I'm going to do just that. Today we're making a battery pack. Basically it's going to be similar to a 12 volt power bank that you can use to power a number of projects in any sort of uh, capacity you want. Let's dig right into this and get started. So I'll show you how I used this spot welder to connect the nickel strips together, and then I'll show you how to solder on this battery management circuit. Okay, so I have here a just set of three lithium ion battery cells. I got them out of a drill battery. So you can see here that I've already kind of done this a couple times, but so I've welded uh, negative to positive on this terminal and then negative to positive here creating a series battery. So this is a 3s battery and then i've welded on a couple of extra little strips that i can uh, solder the battery protection circuit to so the whole point in doing this is to have one a method to connect the batteries in series in parallel when you're making a pack and then also to have a safe connection point to solder your wires onto your sense wires when you're welding in your your battery management circuit. So I'll just demonstrate this welder real quick and show you guys how uh, it makes these welds. So I'm gonna start by plugging it in. You can see the light turns on. So have your finger on the trigger ready to go and then line your prongs up with wherever you want it to weld. Give it some firm pressure and then push the button. Just like that. So you saw a quick little light and then a bit of smoke. That's a good weld. I'll do it one more time on this side, I suppose. Okay, three, two, one. Just like that. You might have saw the lights flicker for a little bit there. So you know you have a good weld when the electrodes don't stick and you don't see any sparks, there isn't too much heat. You can pull on these welds uh, pretty good without them coming off. That's a good weld. So 0.2 seconds is doing just fine for this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and since I have my 3S battery already put together, I'm going to go ahead and wire up the battery management circuit. So I have everything set up that I'll need to wire in this battery management circuit. Uh, so the one that I have here is especially for 3S or 3 series battery packs, HX3S FL25A-A. And what I've went ahead and done is I've pre-tinned my wires and the connection points and the battery connection points. So I just put a little glob of solder all over the place where I'm, going to be, where I'm going to be doing my connections. So I have two thick wires, and this is going to go on the battery positive and negative terminals. That would be the B minus and B plus. And then I have two thinner wires, and these are going to be for the balance wires, or the B1 and B2 connectors. And these are going to be the connectors that wire onto the nickel strip in between the cells. So it's gonna balance here and balance there. We'll have B negative here and B positive here, correlating to the positive and negative of this three series battery. These wires are so short because you can orient this circuit so that all of the points line up to where they're gonna go. Uh, so that's why you can keep these wires nice and short, uh, which is gonna lead to essentially less electrical loss. So we'll line it up so that the negative is with the negative here, the positive was the positive there, and then B1 will be here and B2 will be there. So I'm gonna start by just attaching this thing with double stick tape. Make sure you have your orientation right again. Here's my negative, so my B minus will line up there. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So the way you wanna do this is go the most negative to the most positive. That's the safest way to do this wiring. Just wire this one in here. We've got our B minus hooked up. 
Then we'll travel up the battery, do our B1. That's gonna be this little tiny wire. And these wires can be nice and small because they don't have to carry much current. All they're gonna do is balance the batteries. There's nothing really flowing through them. Moving along, we're gonna go up to our B2 connection, that's right here. Again, little tiny wire. And connect that to the battery. All right, and then lastly, we'll hook up our last thick gauge. This is 18 gauge wire to the B positive. Okay, and then here we have the P plus and P minus. So we hook up our multimeter to these points. We should see 10.03. So it's not very well charged battery, but it is a battery. So this P plus and P minus is, gonna, is going to be where we hook up our connector for any sort of charging and using uh, this battery bank. So what we've basically done is make a 3S lithium ion battery cell. So when it's fully charged, it'll be just about 12 volts. We welded this nickel strip to connect the battery in series. And then we soldered on the battery management system or the BMS, which is specially made for 3S battery packs and allows balanced charging of all three cells. Okay, so that is it. We've done our first electronics project on this channel. We made a spot welder, an actual like, welding system for battery packs. And we also made our first battery pack. Very cool, very excited about what I can do with this. So stay tuned to this channel to see what I do with this project. What I make out of this battery pack, it's gonna be pretty cool. And now we have a whole lot of potential for future projects. So just getting started here, 2020. It's gonna be a big year, let me tell you. Uh, so stay tuned, hit like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys for the next project. Bye. Oh, by the way, the next project is not going to be electrical in nature. It's going to have to do with what's going on over here and back there. You can't really see it. Bye.